everyone. Alice Brown here. Lady B is coming in to join me. Hi. And we are bringing you a very different video today. <laughs> um, we are actually recording this early because we are bracing for a possibility of a winter storm. Which doesn't happen very often in no, Southern we're North in the Carolina. South. We're in the South. So, you know, a little bit of snow or a little bit of ice becomes a very big deal around here because there's hardly any I think we've got two plow trucks that actually go through and scrape the roads and treat the yeah. roads and all like that. And that's if both of them are running. So, um, you know, we pretty much were out in the country. So when they call for bad weather, we brace for it, we get ready, and we just plan on staying in, which is exactly what we're doing. Pretty much our same uh, prep situation for hurricane season, yeah. just for a winter storm instead. Yeah, exactly. Um, we live out in the country, so we can be guaranteed that A, as soon as the first drop of snow or ice hits, we will lose internet immediately. <laughs> we always do. And we've got a better than average chance of losing power, which is why we're going ahead and filming this early so that we can get it up and have, we won't have to worry about it. Because by the time you guys are watching this, we will probably be sitting in the dark. But <laughs> We are running a little ahead of schedule on getting things prepared. We yes. had a, a, a guy come out this morning to repair the fireplace because the pilot light went out. So we got that fixed, thankfully, just in the nick of time. Just in the nick of time, yes. In. yes. We have laundry caught up. We, you might hear the washing machine going back here in our laundry <laughs> room because I have a mix load going because we want everything done. Everything done, yeah. And then Alice is the professional chef today as she is <laughs> masterminding the kitchen. What are you going to be making today? Okay, well, I've got mini uh, banana muffins in the oven right now. They're cooking. And I have got a big pan of hamburger that I'm frying up with peppers and onions and garlic. It oh, smells so good. It, oh God, it does. It really does smell delicious. But what this is going to be turned into is I'm going to split it in half because I've got a bunch here, several pounds, and I'm going to split it in half and I'm making a big pot of vegetable beef soup and then a big pot of chili. Uh -huh. And that way, if we do lose power, it's easy enough to warm up either. Uh -huh. I've, I've warmed stuff up on my fireplace before. I've done it before. I can do it again. Yeah. Um, <laughs> well, our fireplace, uh, thankfully, even though it's a gas fireplace, there's a hook inside of it where you can uh, hang a small pot on, mm -hmm. which we've done before for soup and hot chocolate. Yeah. Or the grill out back on the deck has a, Mr. Brown. Yeah, has a burner <laughs> on it. So yeah, worst comes to worst, I'll send Mr. Brown out and let him <laughs> <laughs> freeze his tushy off to warm us up some food. But we go ahead and get prepared just in case because uh, history has taught us if you don't prepare, then it hits and you're in trouble. So that's what we are up to today. We are also going to be making some cookies. Mm -hmm. I baked a couple of loaves of bread yesterday. And we've Which got were lunch. really good. Yeah. And we've got lunch meat in here and everything for sandwiches. So we are about as prepared as we can get. We do have to finish cleaning the house. And why do we clean yes. the house before a storm hits? So we always clean the house, whether it is a snowstorm, a hurricane, or even just a major storm system, frontal system coming through. We always clean the house because once you lose power, who wants to clean the house? Exactly. So you always want to make sure that your house is nice and clean so you can sit in comfortability mm -hmm. while you're in the dark, the cold, the heat, whatever it is. I mean, if it's in the summertime when you have a hurricane hit, you don't want to sit there dusting while you're sweating your butt off. No, not at all. So we always well, make sure I mean, we... Let's look, sit and figure it out. If without electricity, you can't vacuum. No. You can't steam mop. No. Nope. Um, <laughs> You know, the you bathrooms. You can wipe down the bathroom. Yeah, but they're dark. You know, yeah. the bathrooms are usually the darkest room in the house, so you tend to ignore those. Yeah, I've know. got like one little tiny strip window in my bathroom. <laughs> it's really dark. So, you know, yeah, it, it can just wait. Yeah. <laughs> so if we clean the house beforehand, then we can sit back and, and just relax. And actually, Lady V and I have got some plans to get some writing done yes. during this storm. So I'm going to check on this here and start while we're talking. We um, love to read or write during winter storms. We did it prior when we were writing beforehand. And it just, it's one of the best things to sit in the living room. We'll usually move out to the living room to write instead of the dining room at that point. Well, yeah, because you've got, you've, got, well, you've got the fireplace and then you've got the big bay windows right across from the couch. And you can just sit out, you sit there and watch the snow falling while you're beautiful. writing absolutely beautiful. and have a fire roaring at your feet it's it's perfect it's a perfect scenario for writing or reading it is it is and what a lot of people don't realize is, is that lady v and i actually snuck out of town last week yeah uh -oh. 
we got to let our secret out. <laughs> we snuck out of town for almost a week um, and went over to a friend of ours house. Uh, her husband had to go out of town mm -hmm. and so we went over to stay with her and we got caught in the prior storm that yes, hit the we, south. This yeah. is the first time we've had two back to back for a long time. Yeah, it is. I'm, I'm very surprised to have two this close together. And it's also the first time in a very long time that we have had snow for my birthday. Now today is not my birthday, rather the day we're filming or the day that this is going out, but it is within the birthday week mm -hmm. of me ha having my birthday. And so it, I love the fact that I get snow on my birthday, <laughs> or for my birthday. She used to hate it when she was a child because Mr. Brown was in the military and it would never fail. On her birthday, we'd make all these plans and it would snow and he would get called up for active duty to yep. you know to help um, National Guard to the rescue. Yeah quite often <laughs> when you've got uh, bad weather here they'll bring in the National Guard to make sure like your nurses and your doctors and your frontline wo workers can still get to work yep. safely and that's a big part of what so the National Guard does. So this might actually be does. one of the first times he's able to be here for the snow in the birthday week. Yeah, because we <laughs> haven't had a really a measurable amount of snow in years. No. Here. So this is uh, coming as a bit of, bit of a surprise. But going back to the story when we uh, went over, snuck out of town, we did get a decent amount of writing done. I was very, yes. very happy with that. We, we actually used it as a half writing retreat, half spending time with our friend. Yeah, we actually, we were running into a roadblock on Monster Mob where we were getting ready to get to like the middle part of the book and we couldn't figure out exactly where we wanted to go. We couldn't figure out exactly how we wanted the action scene to play out. And so we were able to really get to the middle of the book and plot out the remainder, yeah, which that. was amazing. It is because now I've got direction to go in and I'm on a roll. And so we will be updating the progress page mm -hmm. and we'll put that at the end of this video. Yeah. Um, but I think we're probably sitting somewhere around the 42-43%, so that's good. We've, we've gotten some good writing done. So if you are a fellow author or aspiring author, if you can't sit down and write, just write your story, don't feel bad. If you can just sit down and get the ideas of where you want the story to go, that counts. And, and sometimes that's all it takes to get, to get through that mm -hmm. breakthrough, to it, get it's through that wall. what it did for you. Mm -hmm. Exactly. Every writer is different. The same method is not going to work for every writer. Mm -hmm. And I am finding as I go along that I am better off getting the ideas down and getting you know each scene down and then going back in and putting in the the meat of the story. You know, going in and, and blowing those scenes up and really making sure that everything is perfect. Mm -hmm. uh, otherwise, when I'm trying to do it on one scene but my mind's on another that I haven't written yet and I'm scared I'm going to forget it, it it really boggles me up big it time. Does, yes. So, so that that's was just really how nice. we work. Whoop. There's the muffins. Yeah, muffins should be about done. Ooh, look at those. Oh, those look oh. so good. Let me grab a pot holder here. And we can get these out. The, the Ulta YouTube channel is getting ready to turn into a cooking channel. Thanks. <laughs> <laughs> Let me a second one here. Oh, these look so good. Oh, look at those beauties. Can you, can you see it? Yes. Okay. Oh, those are beautiful. All right, let me get a toothpick and check these and make sure they're done. I'll step out of the way here. <laughs> One thing I have learned with Alice, do not get in her way in the kitchen. <laughs> I don't know, you and I work pretty good together. We do, we, we kind of work really well. around each other. Quite often two, they're done. Quite often two women cannot share the same kitchen. I have heard that multiple, multiple times. But our Lady unique relationship. Yeah. <laughs> Lady V and I make it work, so. All right, we are going to pause here and we will bring you back and show you some more of the goodies once we get the chili going and the vegetable beef soup yeah. going and everything else. So I hope everybody is having a great day. Stay safe and we'll talk to you in a little while. Hey guys, we're back. Lady V is getting ready to join me here. We have the chili finished. We have the vegetable soup finished. Which both smell excellent. Yes, they do. Um, I'm going to have her grab the, cam grab the camera in just a moment. Grab the camera? Yes, I can grab <laughs> quite well. Thank you. And zero in on this so you guys can see it. But she's right. It, the smells coming out of this, this kitchen right now are absolutely excellent. Um, we also have cornbread because Mr. Brown swears you cannot have chili without cornbread. So we've got cornbread for him. I've made some cookies, some molasses cookies that everybody in the family likes. 
So, you want to grab the camera and we'll show yep. everybody what all we got going? Ooh. Here's your chili. Oh, good. There's your vegetable beef soup. Look at that. Eating good tonight. And we wanted to check out the uh, baked goods, yes? Yes. Baked goods over there. So, I'm still kind of working over here, so excuse the mess. We have some rice We've to got, go with chili. Yeah, Mr. Brown wants rice too. So rice and the These cornbread are the, for him. Uh, banana, little banana muffins, mini banana muffins, cornbread, and then molasses cookies. Ooh, yummy! So we are good to go. I think we are. Once I finish wiping down the house a little bit, and I think I've got a little bit of ironing to do on clothes, and that's it. I will be ready. We will be sitting down and. Um, getting right in and enjoying yeah. the winter storm so everybody stay safe if those uh, for those of you that are in line of the storm um, hopefully I'm, I'm still hoping that it you know kind of fizzles out and it isn't as bad as they say it's gonna be we'll see but until next time have a great day <music>